Hello there guys and welcome to this Xplane 11 tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use Project Fly with Xplane 11. Project Fly is a virtual aviation environment built by Matt Davis. For those of you who do not know, in my opinion, it is by far the very best application in its class. It is a very useful application. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I think it brings a lot of immersion as well to uh, our flying experience in our favorite flight simulator. Works with P3D, it works with X-Plane. Um, it's really brilliant. Um, it is available free of charge. Now, I'm not really sure what the difference is between the gold, um, which is the paid account, and the free account. Um, but uh, as it is always the case, I like to support developers uh, in, in this uh, community uh, to, to help progress and excel their development and the work that they give to the community. So, in order to use Project Fly for, uh, for Xplane, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the desktop client. To do this, we're going to go here to Radar. And if you go to Radar, it will give you a link here to download the desktop application. So once you click it, it should start downloading the application. And once it's done, just double click the exe file to install it. Once you've successfully installed Project Fly, you will have access to a lot of different features. This first screen here, or the home page, has um, a list of those who are currently flying. Uh, we can also uh, note where they're flying, whether they're flying on VATSIM, IVAO, Pilot Edge, or just fly uh, flying offline on the Project Fly network. Uh, you've got fi Flight Sim News, provided courtesy of FS Elite, uh, of which I am a partner. Um, and you've got your NOTAMs here and the Project Fly Passport. The Passport is a nice uh, feature that allows you to unlock countries as you uh, land at those countries. So if you click here, uh, you know, one of the countries I've uh, already landed at is Austria. And so it's unlocked here. The first thing we need to do um, is to get things set up. Uh, we need to go to the settings menu right down here. All right, as you can see, this is my profile and we're gonna to go to simulator settings. And as you can see, we can use either um, uh, SIM Connect, you can use FSU IPC and XPU IPC for um, Xplane. In order to install XPU IPC, simply click on install plugin and it will install the, um, the plugin in the right uh, folder, which is the resources slash plugins folder. Just worthy to note that you must set the right path here to your Xplane 11 installation. I have both P3D and Xplane. They're set up on different drives. So just make sure that you browse to it uh, and select the correct path and then click on install and you will have XUPIP IPC installed on your, um, on your machine. The next thing we're gonna do is we need to add to our fleet. To do this, we're going to go here to Fleet, and as you can see, I have uh, several aircraft here. This one is the one I have uh, currently loaded. Um, to add a new aircraft, it's quite simple. Just select the aircraft type, for example, a 747, and it will give you the uh, list of aircrafts available for inclusion. Uh, airline, uh, any airline, I think all World Airlines are available, so we'll just say uh, maybe um, AAL, which is uh, American Airlines, uh, the registration number, we'll just say November 76543. Um, Airbase, we'll just say, for example, Orlando uh, International, and you can also select an image. Since I have added uh, several aircraft, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of the ones I've already created. Uh, this one is an Austrian Airlines uh, total flight hours, 2 hours, 38 minutes, 747 nautical miles flown, average landing rate is minus 138, total fuel burned, um, uh, 6,800 kilograms, total flights taken 2, and the nice thing is you can see the flights taken uh, on the map here. So let's go, for example, to this flight here. Um, this was a departure from uh, Vienna, Austria, to... Corfu in Greece, so we'll say view flight. 
And as you can see here, it gives you some very useful information about your flight, uh, the flight data, altitude, time, and ground speed. Um, the time uh, was 1016 Zulu. The landing rate was minus 152, uh, pitch zero, roll zero, and the speed was 143. Um, also, if you look at the map here, and by the way, you can toggle this to satellite if you like, or you can add terrain map here so you can see. It's really, really good. Um, as you can see here, we've uh, taken off from Vienna in Austria, and we landed in, um, let's see here, right there at Corfu. And the nice thing about the flight path, it shows the different phases of flight on the map. So this here indicates the, so here we were on the ground, so it's showing the color in yellow and then starts to become green as the aircraft climb. And then it finally reaches this purple color. This indicates that the aircraft was in cruise at this particular segment of the flight. And then the descent here, as you can see, starts becoming bluish, green, and then yellow again once once you land. All right, so how do we use this in, uh, in X-Plane 11? It's quite simple. Now that we have installed the plugin and added uh, uh, aircraft to our fleet, all we need to do now is head over to the booking section. So we're going to go to bookings, and we're going to simulate flying out of uh, Queenstown, to uh, Christchurch International Airport in New Zealand. So we're gonna say create new booking and we're gonna be departing from November Zulu, Quebec, November. That's Queenstown International. And we're gonna be arriving at um, November Zulu Charlie Hotel, which is Christchurch International Airport. The brilliant thing about um, Project Fly is that it gives you available flights that actually fly this route. Now we don't have a, a 737. This is Air New Zealand, so NZ5970 uh, flies from Queenstown, but it's, a, it's an um, AT76. Uh, there are a lot of A320s. We're, we're gonna go ahead and select this um, A320 here, for example. And now uh, we have the flight number, we have the call sign, departure time, arrival time, departure and arrival. This is a scheduled flight. You can select from scheduled or charter flight. Flight rules, you can select from IFR, VFR, or SVFR. And now we can select our aircraft. We're gonna select the uh, Zulu Kilo, November Golf Kilo, um, 737-400 actually is the aircraft. And the network is offline. So you can select VATSIM, IVAO, Pilot Edge, or FS Cloud. We're gonna say book and dispatch. And now you have three options. You can either paste the route if you're using SimBrief, for example, and you already have the flight plan ready or you're using PFPX, beg your pardon. You can import a flight plan uh, .pln file or you could use SimBrief. I use SimBrief because the integration between Project uh, Fly and SimBrief is seamless, which makes flight planning a breeze. So if I click on SimBrief, As you can see, SimBrief has done its magic and our booking is now complete. The nice thing about this is that if you click on briefing, it will bring up the PDF file that you'd normally get when you create a SimBrief plan. So this is our plan now, which we can use for our flight. So the next thing is, uh, is to click on the Fly Now button here. So when, once we click on Fly Now, as you can see now, we have Queenstown as our departure airport. Uh, Christchurch as our destination and all the relevant flight information current heading is 251 distance 187 um, this is our current elevation at the airport we are currently in uh, pre-flight phase and the nice thing about this is that as the aircraft starts moving you will see this changing to pushback taxi uh, cruise in route um, it's really really brilliant it gives you a lot of different information about your uh, your flight, your current latitude and longitude uh, network is offline and we're squawking 2000 for this IFR flight. Another thing you can do is you can go to radar and I can go ahead and select, actually we're right here,
But you can also search by user ID. So if I put Q8 pilot, uh, there is the flight here. Uh, we're right here and we can say track. Uh, we can zoom in here a bit. Right, so this is our departure airport. We are in Queenstown and we're gonna be heading to uh, Christchurch International, which is here. And you'll be able to see the flight path as previously indicated in one of my completed flights. Well, folks, thank you for joining me for this short show this week. I hope that this was a useful and informative video. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.